Now, before we do the full walkthrough video, I want to make sure that you guys understand this is a true one owner car that is probably the most well documented 912 and probably the last one true owner 69 912 with a five speed manual that will be on the market ever. I don't know of another one, especially not a local one like this. Go ahead, do the honor. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Well, it's a color. Yeah, it is a beautiful color. And that's factory, that's the color. Everything matches. Even the rims that is matching. Nice. How long have you, how long have you had the car? I bought it new. You bought it new? In 1969. Wow. Uh, what dealership? You know where your lot is? Oh, you bought it from, oh, okay, yeah. Right there, just past there. It was the whole thing, the Porsches, I think. That wow. was the Porsche dealer. That's, wow. So what? you bought it new? Yeah. Locally? Locally, yeah. Amazing. Wow. It's been all over the United States, Mexico, Canada. That's amazing. What a story. You know. Yeah, I hate to get rid of it but I haven't been driving it and my daughter if I die my daughter she won't know what to do with it neither will my wife she doesn't want to drive it she's afraid that's okay because it's a five speed wow see? some came four speed and some then there's a five speed. speed yeah that's why I bought it they were all four but oh they're all four yeah that's yeah. special yeah I've got lots of offers on the car yes yeah. yes and, uh, but they didn't, none of them were a home that I wanted them to. Uh, <laughs> no, and, and, and like you told me, everybody leave you a note. Every, every time you go oh, yeah, somewhere. I have a whole like, pile of notes. Pile of notes, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and thank you so much for letting me have it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Always good to see you. Yeah, good to yes, see yeah. you. Yes, yeah. Oh, okay, oh, the sticker, yes, yeah, it's fantastic. Oh. Is that the original title? Yes, yeah. Wow. I mean, that's back in the days, old California title. Yeah, look at how little you, it right you can. Is. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, all of the engine is the same. I, I, one time a guy talked me into changing carburetors. Uh huh. Oh. And I took it off and put the Solex on. Okay. Um, the the reason that the oil drip for the bottle is because that used to go down and drip on the ground. Uh -huh. And then when, you know, all of the environmental things happened, yep. they said, why don't you have a drip in a bottle? Nobody can complain. That's, good so that's why that's there. Um, you know, otherwise it's all the way it was when I bought it. Oh. Well, Bob, again, thank you so much okay, for your time. Yeah. And let me, I just wanna, before you take it, I want them all to see it, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was a pleasure to be here. Right. Pleasure. Yeah. When it gets in its new home, and I wanna uh, take a picture of What's remarkable is it came out of Monterey, California. It was purchased at Western Motors, which was a Porsche VW shop located on Del Monte Avenue in Monterey. This is shut down now. And we're actually at the second, our second dealership is actually where this dealership was. So, Finding a 912 with one owner is already rare enough, but the fact that the owner kept every single document, I'm talking about the window sticker, the sales sheet, the fact that the owner kept all of those documents, it's impossible that I can ever find another one or anyone can find another one like this with this history. I hope that someone local picks it up and leaves it in Monterey, but whoever has a chance of buying this car should take it because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And like I said, if I can keep it, I would keep it and put it in the collection and never sell it, never even transfer the title because we have the original title that matches the original sales sheet, that matches the original window sticker. It is really just amazing. You guys will find the video helpful. It's going to show you every inch of the car. I'm going to try to walk you through all the documents. And you guys really need to understand this isn't any regular 912. This is a car with one of a kind documentation and history.
Here's something that's really cool. This is all the stickers because this car was registered every single year since new. It's so cool to see it. Original California plates with every single registration sticker on it. It's like a pile the size of my nail. Nice, beautiful material on the carpets. It's really nice. The interior is in really good shape here. Even the seat belts look original. It's real nice.
nice clean carpets underneath. Here is the trunk space. It's clean, no rust here. This is surface rust. No accidents or sign of accidents, as I'll show you. Uh, that was the only battery I could find at the shop. It needs a smaller battery. I'll probably eventually put a smaller one in there, but as of now, it's got this one and it's working fine. And uh, underneath there is pretty solid as well. The VIN number here is visible. You scratch off a little bit, but you can see it. No rust in here. It's just dirt and stuff. I should have cleaned it probably, but I forgot to. And that's the spare tire. That's the tool kit. It's, it's got one more thing um, I have under the trunk. Your jack and obviously the carpet kit I took out so I can show you guys the floor. And the spare tire.
So here's what makes this car even more special than it already is. The fact that we have every single registration, every single time he serviced the car, either locally here in, all locally here in Monterey from CNC, Western Motors, that's the old dealership that was here in Monterey, California on Del Monte Avenue. He has all the original dealer stickers, the buyer's guide, the sales report, the breakdown. And I'm gonna show you guys more of this, obviously, um, in depth. All of these papers are service records. Here is every single registration the car ever had since new. So every registration, it's a one owner car, so it's got the same name in every single one of these. If you go here, you got books, records, old records, new records. Well, not very new, the car sat for a few years, but um, newish records. He has a booklet where every time he put fuel in the thing, he'd put it right there. The original title, the original driver's owner's manual, the original maintenance record book with the guy's name. This is amazing to find. This is the original window sticker. So imagine when you bought the car at the dealership in 1969, this was the paper, the original one that was on the window. It'll tell you all the details about this car. So you do not need a certificate of authenticity. You have the original paperwork right here for everything. Here's a sales order, the sales sheet. This is the original one. This isn't a copy. This is the original sales sheet in this condition, which is also very nice. You can see all the options he paid for. His price was $6,000. Obviously, Wester, the, the guy who owned Western Motors himself signed it here um, of January 18th, 1969. The guy's name here, this is a local car since new. The only one you will find with this documentation Imagine you're already looking at a very rare car, a five-speed 912, but you're also looking at a car that has everything here. So imagine trying to find that. I've never seen one like it myself. The guy owned it, obviously, since new. Every time he'd parked the car somewhere, he kept notes from people who would leave him notes saying, hey, if you ever want to sell the car, call me. He kept everything. Everything you could think of for the car he kept. Seeing the old Wester service records like this from western volkswagen is amazing you can see what he did in 1969 and when he took it back in the dealership as he was uh servicing it when the car was almost new started taking it to cnc started taking it to old porsche mechanics that are no longer here but very well known in our area so you have a lot of things here and this is really uh, when it comes to valuation of the car, when it comes to service records like this, it's one of one. You have the original title, the original dealer stickers, the original registrations, all the service records, all the books, the hand manuals, and you have everything. I don't even know how to value this car. This is why um, I'm probably just going to put it in an auction or figure out what I'm going to do with this. But everything you need is here, and I'm going to go in depth now. Okay, go ahead. Okay guys, so here are some of the most important documents for this 912. Uh, we'll start off with the original title. So this is the original title since 1969. You'll see the same name corresponding to the same, you'll see it all over this place. So it's the one owner car since new 100%. Um, this is the original California pink slip. This is how they came brand new from the factory. A clean California title and the original one. So after that, we have the driver's manual. Here's the driver's manual. We'll kind of go through it a little bit. It's in decent condition, very good shape, of course, for the year. There's another booklet in there and some uh, miscellaneous things. What are these? <laughs> Looks like plants, but um, plant seeds. But that's what's in here. That's the driver's manual. Uh, let's get into the one of the most impressive things, which is the original window sticker. So in 1969, this was on the car when the guy bought the car. So 1969, 912 coupe, it's got the serial number, the engine number, where it parted from, what port it came from, uh, the distributor name, uh, the dealer, Western Motor Inc, 1187 Del Monte Avenue, uh, delivered to San Francisco. So some people want a Cardex or a certificate of authenticity. This is better than that. 
this actually tells you more than the certificate would tell you. Um, you have everything, the retail price, the accessories the car came with, you'll see five speed transmission, the hubcaps, uh, the rubber pads, everything from the loudspeakers, the tinted rear windows uh, that it came with total was 5,444.42. That was the, the MSRP. After that, we have the original sales order. Can you see that okay on camera? So it'll tell you, um, this is when he bought the car. This was his signature right here. Uh, what, the guy who owned Western Motors himself signed it. Um, the guy who bought the car, Bob, he signed it also. He paid six thousand ninety-five out the door. Um, obviously, and what date was this? Uh, January eighteenth, nineteen sixty-nine. So that's also really impressive. This is the original. This isn't a copy. This is the original paper, and so is all of this. All of these are the original papers. You have the maintenance record book. The original one. You'll see the Porsche logo right there. Um, the booklet with the guy's name also. The engine number, the date it was sold, the miles he bought it out was 20, 28 miles. Uh, the dealer identification number. Obviously, you can see the port that it came in before it came to Western Motors. And it's just beautiful. This is in really good shape, actually. Impressive, very impressive to see in this condition. Check that out, guys. Isn't that amazing? I mean, good luck. I mean, trying to find a Porsche with this kind of documentation. I've never seen it. I don't think anyone else will see one like it ever again. Uh, here is every time the guy filled gas, you put it right here. So you can read and go through. Um, just, it's really old, it's kind of brittle and it's kind of breaking, but um, you can go through it. It seems like he stopped at, the car was really stopped. It wasn't driven since, well, it says 2022 at 73,006 was the last time he really did anything to it. But here's just every time he put oil, I think, or gas, I'm not sure which one probably oil so every time he did oil a few times a year he drove this car um, pretty frequently I remember seeing this car growing up in Monterey so this is the most important document so let's go through the other documents now so here are the original handbook service manuals he was most excited to give me this when he when he was handing it to me he was like take care of this if you don't want it I'll take it I'll keep it it's nice to have though it's going with the car these are just miscellaneous books too that he had during the years i don't know if they have any significance to him but they're here so also here's how i broke down the paperwork so you have obviously tons of service records here here but um the most significant things that i think are cool for the history because obviously whoever's gonna buy this is gonna take it to a mechanic and go through whatever it needs anyways so it's just cool to see this as part of the history it's not necessarily um gonna help you you're probably gonna have to service it again anyways um so besides that let me show you guys what is so unique also so Western Volkswagen, this was the Porsche VW shop that was here in Monterey. And these are the original service paperwork. So every time he took it in, this was probably when he brought it because they closed uh, in the 80s. They, they've been closed. So this was probably one of his ser first services in 1969. Um, repair oil leak. These, <laughs> It's funny because it, in 1969, the car was new and out of oil leak. These cars were basically out the lot with, <laughs> with oil leaks, but... Um, this is an old Western Motors service record and we're going to try to go through all of them. If you guys are welcome to come and check them out in person because there's a lot of stuff. I'm not going to be able to show you guys everything. Um, so you can use this as you please. This is a very, he used to be here a long time ago. I don't know what this is. I think it's just tires. This, there's a lot of paperwork here, so we're not going to probably talk about it. We're just going to go quickly as I as I go. You can kind of pause the video as you please.
you guys are still watching this, I'm impressed. That was the paperwork for the uh, the maintenance. There's some more maintenance. Here's when you you have the smog cars uh, in the 90s. So these are more smog paperwork. We're gonna go through everything we can for you guys. These, these are when people used to try to buy his car. They used to leave him notes and tell him, hey, if you ever want to sell the car, let me know. But he never wanted to sell it to anyone else. But we were blessed enough where he wanted to sell it to us. Rod Emery right here. There's just so many paperwork, guys. If you guys want, just come by and guys, check Guys, this is crazy. Here is, I think, all the registrations for the car since day one. You'll see all the same names. Um, every single registration. And to make things even better, because this guy kept everything for this car, all the California liability insurance paperwork that you leave in the car all right here. Again, guys, never, ever will I see a car. I don't think, not even a 912. I see a car, this document. Okay, here's the engine bay. This is a very original engine uh, okay here is the underneath of this 912 so it's very original i mean nothing nothing fancy under here the tires need to be replaced but the floors are all original and untouched so they've never been patched up they're all original they're california they've never even been undercoated so you can see everything it's pure it's the way it was when it was bought new so it's not not been played around with that's the nice thing about california cars they're as solid as can be you'll see surface rust and stuff but nothing no, no real rust anywhere on this underneath beautiful floors transmission uh like i said believed to be original um that's the transmission number right there Five speed, it's an originally five speed car. Nothing's really been done. We didn't do very much to the car either when we got it. The engine. You have no rust issues at all. You have no accidents in the past. Again, this tire is really bad and there's, all the tires need to be replaced. They're all very old.